A Scottsdale small business was running out of options, like many businesses, when it comes to trying to stay open. The owner was on the verge of cutting staff when he got a lifeline on Christmas Day from the popular website Barstool Sports. Matt Galka has a story in Scottsdale. Matt? Yeah, you know, John, say what you want about Barstool Sports, but when it comes to helping struggling small businesses stay open, they are changing lives. Just ask the owner of the Pony Express cleaners behind me, who had quite the Christmas day. The Pony Express dry cleaners has been Kevin Redden's life for 15 years. The Scottsdale small business owner pressed on through a COVID-19 year where most of his business dried up. But now, just about every revenue source was gone. Every dime I've had through has been used up at this point. I mean, we were down to, you know, January, February, we'd probably be okay. That's when his family decided to take a swing at a possible lifeline. Hotels, we service 35 hotels in the valley. Um, we do restaurants, we do movie theaters. Those all got to a screeching halt. They created this video and sent it to Barstool Sports in hopes of getting money through the Barstool Fund, a fund set up specifically to help small businesses. Well, I'm very happy to call. That's when they got the call from founder Dave Portnoy. You guys, uh, amazing story, so we're glad we can be there for you guys. It was enough to bring Kevin to tears when they told him. You got in! No. You got in like a, what, you think I'm making this up? Redden says helping his employees put food on the table is his main focus. And hopefully his story can inspire more people to donate to the Barstool Fund so other struggling shops can hopefully stay open. It's just not one little dry cleaner that they're helping. It's everyone that helps into it. Pay it forward, pay it back, whatever word you want to put in, because the fund needs to grow. Now, so far, the Barstool Fund has raised over $8 million. And if you're wondering how much Kevin got, he told me, truthfully, he doesn't know. His daughter's taking care of it, but he says it's enough to keep the lights on, and that's what matters right now. And just a side story about Kevin. He told me that since March, he told all of his employees, look, it's sink or swim. We're sinking together. We're swimming together. But we're all going to get paid or nobody's going to get paid and that is the kind of boss you definitely want to work for can't think of a person who deserves what just happened to him more than kevin redden we're live tonight matt galka fox 10 news